shit is, I'm not even fucking Jamaican. Uh. <laughs> and they're like, who the fuck is this guy talking about? Is there somebody else on? Oh, man. I'm ready to cancel Christmas. How about you? That shit, tarnation outside? Almost did make it, man. Uh, I'm from Whippy. Let's get that out of the way. Surprise. That's why I'm so frustrated and mad. Uh, it's hard, you know, for me or a guy like me out there. It's hard because when I come to places like this, I gotta explain where I'm from. And I gotta be like, I'm from Whippy. You guys, you guys might know where Whippy is, but not everybody knows. You know, uh, I gotta be like, it's next to Oshawa. Like, that's the best way to describe it. And we all know that Oshawa is probably the worst place in the world. <laughs> not probably, it is the worst place in the fucking world. Anyway, so when I explain it to people, I gotta, I'll be like, all right, let's pretend Ontario was a body, okay? Uh, we know that Hamilton is the one armpit of Ontario. Uh, and we know that Kingston is definitely the other armpit of Ontario. Uh, Oshawa's like right behind your ball sack right here. You know that line that gets, you know, really hot and sweaty in the summertime? I live beside that. Sucks. Uh, <laughs> you guys, uh, Price is Right fans out here? Uh, I'm a, I'm a full-time Canadian comic, right? So really, that's just fancy to talk uh, in the biz for unfucking employed. Uh, so I, I get to watch a lot of uh, Price is Right. I love Drew Carey. He's doing a great job. I put people who dollar bid or like dollar bid over, like if you come and you dollar bid over me, I put you uh, in the same uh, elevator to hell as uh, anyone who doesn't signal Chana Lester's air rapists. They're all on the same. I hate those people. I hate them all. Watched that shit the other day. A girl came down and she, she dollar bid over two times. Twice! She 501, didn't get in, 502, last prize of the fucking game! Last one, she got in! Not only did she get in, she won a prize, she spun a 90 and a 10 on the wheel! Nah, son. Not me. You know how much luck it takes to get the prices right for me to stand there and to watch some, some bitch, you know, shice her way to the top? I, I couldn't do it! I would, I would wait till she was jumping up and down and the camera panned in on her. I'd be the first Price is Right contestant to turn heel. I'd hit her in the back of the head with a steel chair and just bow. <laughs> Jim Ross wrestling would come on. Dear, dear God! We've, we've never seen anything like this in, in game show history. <laughs> you guys don't watch wrestling? <laughs> I fucking love wrestling. Uh, I know you, you have to watch wrestling to progress, you know. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a hard day when I had to just admit that it wasn't real. Uh, it's embarrassing, pretty much, number one, because I was 16. Uh, and I would argue, you know what I mean? It was, it was, a, it was a hard, uh, really rough day, uh, having, to, having to deal with that. Uh, because I came home and, and I watched the second episode of Raw, and Vince McMahon uh, got into the limo and it blew up. And I was like, oh my god, he's dead! Like, the owner of a big company is gone forever! And I, I, I started to panic, so I, and I realized that wrestling uh, wasn't real, and I had flipped over to CNN, and they weren't even covering that shit. I was like, hey! That's <laughs> not good. Like it's fun, you know what I mean? I really, I really do. Like we, we wake up in the morning and uh, we watch our shows. Uh, we try and catch Maury uh, at about 11. Uh, and then uh, it's the divorce court at noon and then he looks over at me and says, nigga, you better change the channel. Uh, so that's what I do. Uh, we watch like a treehouse in our house. And I, I love treehouse, I'm a treehouse guy. Uh, but I see stuff on treehouse, I'm like, how come nobody says anything? You know what I mean? Like how come that's happened? Like, Thomas the Tank Engine? You guys remember Thomas? Very weird thing. It's a train with a face, guys. And it has eyes and teeth and, and, and a tongue, and nobody says anything. There's no origin story. What's the biological makeup of the who's fucking the trains, guys? 
So talking hack, that's what it is. <laughs> talking hack is a suspicious motherfucker he is. And every year will be like, you know, so talking hack, why do you see James behind the shed? And they're like, but why? You know, what do you do for Back there, you know, open up the thing and just come on the coals and the face. Pretty good. Um, 
uh, the, thing, the thing about it uh, with, with my white friends is they do a lot of crafty things. Uh, crafty is like my word in general to describe white people like, like all together. Crafty is my word. And I'll tell you why. They took me camping. Okay? Uh, the first time they took me camping was great. We smoked, drank, had a fantastic time. I'm like, man, I love camping. Uh, and then they were like, hey man, you want to go camping the following year? So I'm like, of course I'd like to go camping. Uh, and I packed really lightly, and it's important to remember for this story, I only packed one pair of shoes. Okay? Uh, so I get there, uh, and they tell me that the next day we're going light water rafting. Okay? I've never done that before, uh, but I've seen it on TV a couple of times. Uh, I said, fuck, I'll never do that. Next thing I know, I'm in a boat. Okay? Uh, <laughs> So we're, we need to go down these rapids, okay, and, and uh, it's pretty good. You get to hit the still water, and I was able to take off my shoes, jump in the water, go swimming. It was great. Uh, there's another part of the trip they didn't tell me about. Uh, something called uh, cliff jumping. You know what that is? It's a cliff and you jump. That's it. It's not a metaphor for something else. That's all that shit was. Uh, and it was a really high cliff and rapids at the bottom. Okay, so you got to jump. And I had my shoes on. They were on really loosely. And, uh, you know, you got to jump from this cliff. So I said, okay, I'm going to do it. I jump. I hit the water. My light flashes before my eyes. And I'm like, man, this is great. Now it's time for me to swim over to the other side. Here's a tip for you guys. If you don't take anything in my act, uh, take this. Swimming through rapids with loose shoes on, fucking impossible. Uh, I, I'm starting to panic at this point because the rapids are sweeping me away. I'm about eight or nine seconds away from ending up on the news. Uh, so I take off one of my shoes. Okay, and I tried to Michael Vick the shit over to the other side. I didn't get there. Uh, a guy from South Africa was nice enough to jump in and say it. Uh, he was white too, but here's the thing. Okay, they threw a rope out to me and they had to, they had to save me. Okay, and I say crafty was my word because I discovered something that day. Not just that any day, but you guys do a lot of crafty things. Like I saw a commercial for something called Ancestry.ca. You ever seen that commercial? And the lady was like, you know, my great granddad came over to this country on a boat. And I was excited. I went to go check the shit out. I'm like, yeah, Ancestry.ca. Everybody was, yeah, my great granddad probably came over to this country on a boat too. Uh, <laughs> he didn't have time to write his name down, I guess. <laughs> Crafty <laughs> <laughs> is my word only because like when I when they pulled me on and I'm coughing up water and there's water in my eyes and everything, I can see all the white people laughing and, and shaking hands and trading money. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't until the Monday I was briefed on what was going on, they were betting on if that nigga could swim or not. My name is Guy, thank you so much. I love you.